Here we go. We now have a working cable car. Um, the only problem that I can see with this is in order to put these tracks in place, the only way that I could do it on the angle that we need was in creative. Now, you might well be able to do it by just building you know, multiple towers all the way along here but uh, I haven't actually tried that um, but I can't see why you wouldn't be able to do that so you know you just might need some ramps and big boy blocks <laughs> uh, it works it does work so I'm not going to go through a build on this I'm just going to show it in its entirety um, completed and if we need to um, put another one together to, to show you how to do it then more than happy to do that for your radio not a problem um, but just sort of go, going over this bit this is the, the most stable that I was able to get and you can build a gondola down here underneath it uh, off any of these bits here or underneath or wherever and put as much uh, stuff underneath here as you need <coughs> I have tried it with a fair bit of weight and it works so but I did have to uh, just put a couple of weights on it to keep it nice and balanced but it, it works it is a cable car um, which I'm pretty excited about actually having designed so we can do shift F first whoops it's a bit jumpy sometimes uh, maybe we were already at the end that was why all right so we'll use F and bring it up here you can see it's self riding and shift F to go back the other way so the basic principle is the same as the cart <coughs> in that we've got the belt drive system, two pulleys, um, ropes fully extended to attach and that's exactly the same up here again. Uh, the key of course is you know making sure that you get these correct and as long as when you put the catch blocks on and the uh, rope drum in the middle on as long as you don't move them before you have attached all of the ropes then you won't have a problem and once the ropes are attached that's that's fine you can play around with it to your heart's content um, I did misjudge the height on this one a little bit so if I was to redo it all again I'd make this one one lower but um, I'm also not happy about sort of how this all looks but as I say, the, the key function here is the fact that it is a working cable car uh, that um, should have no problem going up hills or, or anything. Um, I will try and work out how to get the um, cable car onto the track and I think what I might have to do is build a big platform up there with a flat bit on it um, and then give it a go but I can't work out how I'm going to do all of this maybe I come off the side and bring it down and then attach the the actual gondola underneath it because uh, the gondola is sort of secondary really the main the main thing is this carriage so there you go a working cable car in medieval engineers uh, survival ready there's nothing special about it uh, yes I did build it in creative but that was just because I needed to be able to uh, spawn in bits and pieces and didn't want to have to worry about cutting down trees and all of that type of stuff to get the bits and pieces uh, this is how you get a track on an angle um, this is actually freestanding this part here all of the way up there is actually freestanding. Gotta love the laws of physics as they apply in medieval engineers because 
it, it, it will support itself without any bow or drop or anything all the way up there. I've only put that post in at the end just to stabilise it. It actually just stands there. Um, and you can adjust this angle as you're building it by just adjusting the height of this one. So again, when I go through a whole build process and everything, I'll um, show you how this is all done as well. Alright, so there you go radio. Uh, it can be done. It was um, a, <laughs> a large amount of friggin' around, but not only is it done, but it works and it's exceptionally stable. And over a short distance, it's self-riding. I'm not sure about the, um, the f you know, if you were to make it a much longer track, uh, because I have got a little bit of space in here between the wheels, but uh, it does seem to, you know, self-ride itself. If the back gets out of skew, then the front stops it from moving too far, and vice versa. Uh, I may also have a play around with just a single wheel underneath, but. I do like the stability I get with the two wheels down there. Okay, there you go. It uh, it can be done. Have fun, and I hope you had a great weekend uh, away with Variety, and I will see you or watch you uh, when you get back. See ya.